Okay, we are back to classroom and we are talking about reusing Google Forms to Google Classroom. Now, Google Forms is the greatest thing since sliced bread and when we use it together with Google Classroom, we get all kinds of great data that helps us to interact with students better than using paper. Because that is always my question. Paperless is not a pedagogy. How does using digital tools improve student learning, improve relationships, improve student engagement? And Google Forms can definitely be part of that. It certainly is no magic bullet. But I hope that you are using Google Forms if you are a Google Classroom user or just a Google user. Now, we are back to classrooms. So if you'll go to www.backtoclassroom.org, and you might have to put that in twice in order to have it open, uh, but it does go to a Facebook page for you to join. So we're going to be able to continue the conversation over in Facebook if you have any extra questions or things to follow up or any tips. So at Back to Classroom, we are discussing tips for using Google Classroom along with tools that integrate really well with Classroom. For example, Moat, Schoolytics, Adobe, all products that enhance your Google Classroom experience. So you have tools that you like to use that work well with Google Classroom, come tell us about it at backtoclassroom.org. And as you use social media and you're sharing Google Classroom tips or tips on products that work well with Google Classroom, be sure to use hashtag back to classroom. So let's get into this. Here is the situation. Last year, you used Google Classroom. And last year, you used Google Forms. And you want to use the same quiz, the same assessment, the same survey this year. Do not copy your forms. We're going to reuse the post, but we are not going to make copies. We're not going to copy our forms. We're not going to copy our docs. We're not going to copy our sheets. We do not copy. We reuse the post. Now, when you reuse a post in Google Classroom, it asks you to select the assignment that has the Google form in it. And you'll see down at the bottom, it says create new copies. No, 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 no. In fact, never use that button. It just creates a giant mess of your Google Drive. Back in the old days when we had attachments, we would make copies. But using Google Classroom is a completely different paradigm shift. They're not attachments. They're links from Drive. So if you copy, you just have a whole bunch of the same thing in your Google Drive and it just makes a big mess. So do not, do not check this. Do not make new copies. Just go ahead and reuse. So that is going to launch and pop open a Google Classroom assignment. It copies it. I'm going to edit the assignment number. I'm going to edit the title instructions as I want to because hopefully I reflected on my activity last year and thought this could be better and I can make it a little bit better. Now you'll notice it has that Google form on there and it is a clickable link. It is not attached. I know they call it an attachment, but it is not attached. It is linked from Google Drive. So you can either go find these forms in Google Drive. You can make forms and they had nothing to do with Google Classroom. You just want to reuse a form you had used previously, or you can just click right there on the form in the assignment and it's going to launch that Google form. We'll launch that Google form and you're going to see a pencil icon in the bottom right hand corner. We do want to be in the edit screen of the Google form. So go ahead and click the pencil icon, get into the edit screen, and then you're going to see that you go to the responses tab and that spreadsheet that you had from the last time you used this form has the old responses. Now, I don't know about you, but I didn't keep all my quizzes and paperwork for my students from the previous year. I didn't keep them on paper. Why do I need to keep them digitally? So, I mean, but if you wanted to, you certainly could. So, but what I want to do is I want to reuse this form. I don't want to copy it. So there's a couple of things we're going to do is we're going to go to the three dots menu. We're going to go to the three dots menu and it's important that you do it in this order. And on the three dots menu, you're going to select delete all responses. Now, don't freak out if you wanted to save them. It only deletes them out of the form. It deletes them out of the form. It does not delete them out of the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet actually is a copy. So when the responses are copied over to the Google Sheets spreadsheet, deleting it out of the form just allows you to refresh and use your form again. In fact, what I will sometimes do is I will use the form with first period 
delete all the responses, use the form with second period, delete all responses, so on and so forth, because I'm actually going to look at all that data in Google Sheets spreadsheet. I'm going to get it in the spreadsheet, so I don't need to keep the responses in the form for those reasons. But I'm getting rid of last year's. I definitely don't need last year's responses. It's okay. If you have a spreadsheet, you're not losing them, although personally, for most of my forms, I really don't need last year's results. Okay. So then you want to go back to that three dots menu, go back to the three dots menu and choose unlink form. It's really saying unlink the spreadsheet. So right now the spreadsheet and the form are connected and I just want to unlink them. And it's just like you get a divorce, no one dies, you just go your own separate ways. The spreadsheet is in your Google Drive and your form is in your Google Drive and nothing bad happens, they're just no longer linked. That's what I want. I want last year's results to kind of go to the side, like you're just over there and drive. So if you still want those results, do not worry. They are in your Google Sheet spreadsheet in Google Drive, and you'll be able to go get those anytime. If you don't need them, feel free to delete the spreadsheet. That is definitely not a problem. All right, so I have deleted the responses. I've unlinked the form. So now you'll notice is that when you hover on top of that spreadsheet icon, when you hover on top of the spreadsheet icon, it says create spreadsheet instead of open it, right? Because I unlinked it, it now wants to give me the option to create a new one. So basically I'm ready to go. All I have to do is disconnect that spreadsheet, make a new one. That's the basic premise. Use the same form, disconnect the spreadsheet and connect a new one. All right, now if you connect a new one, it says, do you wanna make a new spreadsheet or do you wanna select the existing one? Usually I create a new one, but if you want, you can select the same spreadsheet you just unconnected. So when you do that, you have the spreadsheet, you unconnected it, and you reconnect it back to the same spreadsheet, which is not a problem. It creates a new tab. So you have form responses one is last year, and form responses two would be this year. So there is no problem in using the same spreadsheet if you want, but they will not combine the data from last year to this year. So when you unlink the form, when you unlink the form, what that's gonna do is create a new tab if you put a new spread form linked back into it. So when you relink it, it does still start from scratch, okay? So now you're just free to edit the form. So go ahead and look at the questions tab. Do you wanna add new questions? Do you wanna modify the questions? Do whatever you want to do to make that form look like how you want to use it this year, different from last year. You don't need to create a copy. You can just go ahead and edit it now that you have it all ready to go to use with new students. All right, that is it. Those are all of the steps. Let's run through those really quickly again. All right, we're going to reuse a post. We're just going to reuse without making a copy. No copies, no copies, no copies. I'm going to click on the link for the form that's in the assignment, it's gonna launch in a new tab. I'm gonna click that pencil icon so I'm in the edit screen. I'm over here on the responses tab and I do the three dots so that I can delete all responses, unlink the form and connect a new spreadsheet. That's usually my preference, a new spreadsheet and then update the form however I want and just keep using the same one year after year. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. We are www.backtoclassroom.org. Please join our Facebook group and join the conversation. And we look forward to hearing how you use Google Classroom, Mo, Schoolitics, Adobe, and all of these great products that work well with Google Classroom. All right.